Welcome to this Tuesday edition of the Get Up. I'm Chris Killian, your friendly neighborhood host, here to distract you for a couple of minutes from your real problems. It's nice to see that the heavy criticism of Iron Fist isn't slowing down the Netflix MCU because the second season of Jessica Jones is officially underway and began filming yesterday in New York. Chronologically speaking, season two will probably follow The Defenders, which has already wrapped production. Other than that, we aren't sure what the second season might consist of or how closely it'll follow the comics. Will Jessica Jones marry Luke Cage? Is she pregnant with his power baby? Because they've definitely had relations. And will that kid look anything like this? <laughs> That's gonna give me nightmares. Get excited, DC fans! Warner Brothers announced who will be voicing the lead characters in the upcoming animated film Batman and Harley Quinn. Are you ready? I bet just looking at the animation for the film, you can't even stagger a guess. You give up? Alright. Kevin Conroy revealed on Twitter that he will in fact be playing Batman for the 600th time. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. And Melissa Roche from Big Bang Theory is Harley Quinn. This is what we refer to in the news circle as a slow news day. How much time have I got left? <laughs> okay. More and more details are emerging about Spider-Man Homecoming. One such detail is that producer Eric Hosserman Carroll confirmed in a set visit that the Daily Bugle will not be featured in the film. Considering that Peter Parker is in high school or that J. Jonah Jameson is busy being Jack Commissioner Gordon, this makes sense. Holy crap. Maybe he could play Power Baby's grandpa. And finally, during a recent live stream, Marvel's media group Vice President Ryan Panagos mentioned that many great Marvel games were coming down the pipeline for 2017, including Spider-Man. Whether this turns out to be true or not, expect a release date announcement soon. Hopefully, followed by another announcement that the game will feature other choices for Spider-Man costumes, because that one's pretty bad. And that's the get-up. Hit me up on Twitter at Chris Killing, leave some comments, and always keep your eyes on comicbook.com for the best geek news.